second order bend. Second order bend is an axial bend. Second order bend is a bend which, if that's your straight wire, you're now going to put that bend in. So it's not a vertical bend. Do you understand? This wire and this wire end up being the same. But when this goes in your bracket, what's it going to do? Tip the bracket. Well, the best part to use is this one. This is called a jarrowback. Okay? Yep. And can you see the little can you see the little indentations I was talking about? This is the ply you'll need to get going with your wire bending exercise from that uh, textbook. Clear Japanese. Right? And the plier, the exercises that he's going to show you here. Uh, this is your Jarrowback style plier, right? Literally showing you the plier I'm going to use now. And then the exercises that you do in this manual are exercises that allow you to put in loops, like you're seeing there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We are using this plier, and we are putting in with our Jarrowback. Let's just say we want the canine to upright a bit more, and we don't want to reposition the bracket. Right? Then what we can do, we do zoom. We do one bend like this. We then come in holding that same thing and do another bend, and that's what's actually giving us the tip. We then come back up and do the last bend, and then that last bend will give the wire back to being flat. So now, can they see that? Huh? That is your second order bend. And the second order bend is your axial bend. Now, if you're clever and you don't want to use this, you can use your in-out to give you that. But the problem is the in-out gives you a 90 degree bend. You understand? So you've got to sort of press it lightly. And I think that's more clinical skill than just using the gyro back. And you need the gyro back anyway to do your closing loops, your T-loops, et cetera, et cetera. This wire is really easy to bend. This is beta titanium, CNA, TMA, same thing. That's the second order bend. 